So this is just a quick explainer of a recently released feature for Dia uh, involving product pricing. So previously, Dia has allowed 10 price tiers, uh, usually enough for people that sell, for example, uh, retail price, wholesale price, VIP, and so on. Uh, but if you have various different currencies or distributor arrangements or similar, sometimes people hit the limits of those 10 price tiers. We were able to solve that problem previously with product discounts and product deals, but it was quite involved to set those up because we had to go into each product and set a deal appropriate to it. So with this new feature that Deer have released, we've got the ability uh, in the product list to import custom prices. These custom prices will override any other price tiers in the system. In other words, if you set a customer to price tier one, maybe retail, but then you import some custom prices, that will override the retail prices. So you could use this, for example, if you need a new, in inverted commas, price tier for a client by importing in all your products and the prices they get, or you could use it just to override certain ones if, for example, this customer buys at retail price, but they get a slightly lower price on this category of products. So I'm just gonna download the template file here and just pause while I load this up. Okay, so I downloaded that uh, CSV file. As always, you can click this little plus icon and you'll see here that it will give you an idea of the columns and information required. Now, in this case, it's a fairly simple CSV file. So if I go over here, I'm using Google Sheets, but you can obviously use Excel or numbers on Mac or similar. Um, the action column, you can leave empty or you can type delete in there if you want to be removing someone's custom price. Uh, the product SKU gets entered in here. So let's say it's for a soccer ball. Uh, the product name gets entered in as well. Have to wait for the file to load. Give me two seconds. It's just converting it from the CSV. Um, so product SKU gets entered in. The product name gets entered in. The SKU is very important. That must match a product SKU that exists in the system. Uh, the customer name gets entered in. That must also match one that's in the system. And then the price that you want to charge. Just note that that price will have to be in the currency that the customer buys in. So if they, for example, are listed in USD overseas, then that price needs to be in the price they pay. Um, you can continue to load this down here. I would suggest if you're gonna load this up all for one customer, you export the product list from DIA, which you can do from the same all products view that we looked at previously. And there is an export button towards the top. And then you can choose products, which will be the first option when that loads. So I'd recommend you do that because you can copy and paste those SKU codes into the custom prices import. Uh, and then you've got everything set and ready to go. So just wait for this page to load here. So we will be able to go to export and then inventory list. Um, drop that into custom pricing. Now, when you've got this sheet ready, um, it's just as simple as downloading it in a CSV. And then going back to your import area, dragging it in. And in this case, it will error because I don't have the matching product code. Um, you can always click on here and see what the error is. So we don't have that product code corrected if you need to. Hopefully that helps.